Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top five tips on how to make your bathroom look and feel like you're in a luxury hotel. So let's get right into it. So starting off, my first tip is to add artwork to your bathroom. I love these prints that I have in my bathroom. They're from Desenio. I love that brand so much. They have so many different poster prints of all different types of artwork. I really love like minimal line art, anything nature themed. There's so many great options that can match any kind of bathroom aesthetic. Artwork can definitely get really pricey. So Desenio is great because you don't need to spend a lot of money to make your home look completely different. I've used Desenio for different prints throughout my whole house. So Desenio is a great option if you want to go for some prints. They also have frames. They have similar artwork on Amazon, similar printed frames. And also Target has a lot of great options right now from Studio McGee, especially for spring and summer. And then of course you can DIY your own artwork. I've done so many DIY art projects. I've had some in bathrooms as well. I personally love DIY artwork and between a canvas and some paint or some plaster, you can get artwork for your bathroom for like 10 to 25 dollars so there's a lot of great options i'll have a bunch linked below so tip number two is to create an ambiance and the way that i like to do this is through candles you can definitely add a candle to any bathroom we all know that but something specifically that i like to do to make your bathroom feel like a luxury hotel is get a candle that is scented like a luxury hotel there are so many different candle brands now that make luxury hotel scented candles i know Hotel Collections is a brand. I've seen so many others out there on Instagram, on Etsy, just everywhere. And also a lot of hotels sell fragrances in the scent of their hotel. So I went to a resort for my honeymoon, la not my honeymoon, my five year wedding anniversary last year. I went to the resort a little gift shop and I was able to get a diffuser in the scent from the hotel. So now my whole bathroom Smells like that memory of that beautiful luxury resort, all the great memories from that vacation. So definitely check out your hotel gift shops, especially if you go on a trip. I'm not somebody who's really big on souvenirs or bringing a lot back from trips, but this is definitely something you want to check out at your hotel gift shop because scents linger, they create memories, they create a lot of nostalgia, and that is a perfect souvenir to take back from your next trip so you can definitely get these scents from one of your favorite hotels or also from a bunch of these candle brands so tip number three is to add elements of nature throughout your bathroom whether it be real plants fake plants any accessories made from wood anything that just kind of reminds you of the outdoors i love to bring the outdoors in and especially in luxury hotels or destination hotels they really want to give you those elements of whatever location you're at throughout your whole room, throughout the whole stay of your hotel visit. So having those elements of nature definitely help elevate your bathroom space. I especially love to have live plants in a bathroom because they thrive in a bathroom setting. Whenever I would keep live plants in my bathroom, they would grow so quickly because the steam from the shower would just make them thrive so much better than in any other area of my home. So I definitely recommend live plants even just the smallest plants can make such a difference and elevate your mood as well and then i love my faux tree this one's from target i got this idea from instagram and i absolutely love it it completely transformed the space and elevated the space in my bathroom it just makes it look so much more luxurious it adds an element of character the other thing you can do especially for smaller spaces is add any small wood accessories like soap dishes, a small tray, something where you can put your jewelry. Those are just a few accent pieces that help your space feel more luxurious. Also dried eucalyptus or fresh eucalyptus in a vase by your sink. I have that in one of my bathrooms as well, some dried eucalyptus or some fresh flowers if you wanna add that too. You can definitely take this idea in so many different directions from the smallest plant by your sink or a full tree. So let's talk about towels for tip number four and I definitely recommend going with all white towels for your hand towels, for your bath towels. It's really easy to maintain white towels as well and also just to wash everything all together and make them always look new. I'll leave what I like to use to keep all my white towels and bedding um, white and bright down below. The towels I specifically like are from Amazon. There's so many great affordable options on Amazon. I'll also link my hand towels that I like to use from Amazon. But I specifically like this like waffle weave towel. 
I these are my favorite towels I have like maybe 10 of them <laughs> throughout my home I've had them for years also these are great super affordable they look beautiful I have one displayed on the ladder behind me these are amazing I hate fluffy towels I don't understand why a towel can be so fluffy yet not absorbent whatsoever so these are super absorbent I wrap my hair up in them and it helps like dry my hair so much quicker I just love these I love the texture of them I find that a lot of luxury hotels do have this like waffle weave to them also if you go to a luxury hotel um, any luxury hotel they always have like bathrobes or just like a regular robe and they're always waffle weave robes so that's why I wanted to go with them for towels so I'll have these towels linked below and honestly once you try them out you're gonna end up switching all your towels to these because that's what I've done over the last couple years and then tip number five is to add accessories this is definitely gonna elevate the space um, basically stage the bathroom a little bit and it's not something that has to be impractical or something that's not functional you can stage and add accessories in a really practical way so one of my big accessories in the bathroom is this little ladder that I have back there it's a wood ladder that I got on Amazon it has an extra towel there there's also some different wood towel holders towel racks that I really love on Amazon as well I'll have those linked below I love my bath tray that's also from Amazon. I have another decorative candle. I have a bunch of candles throughout my bathroom, but I love this little decorative candle, this bubble candle that's from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Also, one of my favorite bathroom accessories are these foaming soap dispensers. I have them in a bunch of different colors. I have the cap in black through my kitchen. I have rose gold. I have gold throughout different areas of my home. I like the silver ones to match the silver hardware I have throughout my bathroom here. Um, but these are great because I think that soap bottles with just random labels can look a little bit cluttered and this just looks a lot more elegant and it's super affordable as well and it's actually cheaper over time because I just get a big refill of the soap instead of buying a new bottle every month. You can also do the same thing with your body washes, shampoo, conditioner. Amazon has a bunch of kits to transfer your original packaging into a more cohesive aesthetic i'll link some below i love the look of that i'm not there yet with my organization journey but i am getting there and that is definitely my next step so i just love the look of that also shower caddies um there's so many great options on amazon that look very aesthetic and are not just um, practical they're still very practical and functional but also aesthetic and match a certain theme or mood more of like a modern feel and look you can also accessorize your bathroom with different trays jewelry dishes just little marble pieces here and there as well I love a bunch of items like that I'll link some of my favorites of those below and then I also wanted to give you a six bonus tip and that is basically to tidy up and try to put everything in its place that's the number one thing that you can do immediately where you don't need to purchase any of the products that I'm talking about and you don't need to really transform your space. You don't need to change the cabinets. You don't need to do a whole bathroom makeover. If you just start a system to try to keep things in a place and organize constantly, that's gonna make such a huge difference in your space. So I like to just be aware of the habits that I have with all the products I use in my bathroom throughout the day. Like I always reach for my hairbrush, obviously like toothbrush, my hair straightener, and I always make habits of putting those things away. Well, not always. Most of the time, I make habits of putting all those things away once I'm done using them, making sure there's specific drawers or organizers for skincare. That way, I keep my bathroom vanity clutter-free for the most part most of the days and just being honest with myself with what products I do and don't use declutter regularly I'm sure even in my own bathroom cabinets right now I have some products that I need to go through that it might have expired so I like to do that seasonally as well especially like medicine cabinets I like to go through that and make sure nothing in there is expired because then I just end up accumulating a bunch of products in my drawers and my storage and when those are full, all the products end up on top of the sink, on top of the counter. So I like to constantly declutter and find a space for all my products. I'll leave some of my favorite under sink organization products um, down below and my favorite drawer organizers below. So those are all my recommendations on how to make your bathroom look and feel like you're in a luxury hotel. 
I'll have all the products that I mentioned listed up below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more home-related videos. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.